How's everything been coming along? Oh, pretty good. Um, definitely, definitely better than my initial studying has been. Um, it's been super helpful, everything that I've been using. So um, seeing some progress and feeling like I, I just get it a little bit more, which is awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, what's the biggest challenge you're facing right now? Um, so I'm really diving into the LR stuff. It was kind of my it was so hit or miss. It was not consistent at all when I was studying and even in practice tests before it either. I do like pretty well or really terribly. And, and so just, I've been diving into a lot of just this um, kind of foundational um, workshop videos that you have and doing a lot of practice around that untimed. And um, so that's where I've been working. And I think just kind of really making sure I've got the foundations solid before kind of going on and then simultaneously been working on games which were traditionally a little stronger for me but um always i mean definitely room for improvement but i was like i was starting at a better place nice great <laughs> so haven't gotten to the the reading comp part which will be its own beast but i want to tackle <laughs> lr i feel like if i get that that actually might help a little bit with reading comp sure Sure. Have you uh, seen any of the workshop videos where I cover the Socratic review method or any references to it? Yes. Um, I did one, I think yesterday that, that did kind of go into that a little bit more. So that was the first time I've really kind of looked at that. And so I want to, you know, kind of use that as I go through a lot of what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. There's so much out there, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. which is a good and sometimes bad thing. I don't necessarily know how to get all of it, um, which is probably not an attainable um, idea to do everything, but I want to get the most out of it. Exactly. And that's really the structure I'm giving you is the exact order in which to go through everything. Mm -hmm. So I know if you peek ahead to the stuff that's later in the course, you see a lot there. You certainly <laughs> don't need to cover all of it in depth. I mean, those are full length class recordings on specific question types, oftentimes mm -hmm. multiple live classes covered the exact same question type. Yes. And I've done, I did a couple necessary assumptions over the weekend. And just because I, I was like, I don't even, I have no idea. I was like, I can't believe I took this test without really understanding it. And so it's, it's really kind of opened my eyes to like how much I didn't understand before and how much room there is to improve, but that the tools are there to use. So that's been really, really helpful. Um, and you know, kind of just feeling more confident. Like I get it, you know, I'm not just like getting it right by accident. I'm actually getting it. So. Fantastic. I'm, I'm glad to hear. I'm glad <laughs> to see the improvement. I'm glad to see the changes for you. Now you have another chance to go about things a different way, a better way, using yeah. those resources, using the review process and just giving yourself time to absorb it all. There is a lot, of course. Yeah. Yeah. There is definitely a lot. Um, one question I did have was, I know we talked a little about before, um, is, you know, I've got a full-time job. I've got kids that are little and busy and, you know, I do have some time I've got, you know, obviously I wish there was more, but, um, I've got a decent amount of time. How do I, what are some tips to make sure that I'm really, um, getting the most out of that time, that it's really that quality time, not just trying to spend, you know, eight hours a week or 10 hours a week, but that I'm really focused, that I'm really able to dedicate my brain during that time to what I'm doing. It's that review process. It's the Socratic review method. So rather than aiming to do as many problems in a certain period of time or a certain number, I know there's uh, nearly a hundred released exams there's this temptation to say, I've got to cover everything, every prep test question, every exam, every video in Steve's course, when there's so much material there, you don't have to do it all. And you certainly don't have to compress it all into just a couple of months. So you look at the time you have available, you budget out how much can you complete within that period. And then you pick whatever would be most impactful for you that day and start there, knowing you may not get to it all and that's okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. If there's any, what's like the, your number one <laughs> tip for retakers like me, um, who do have a lot going on to really, 
um, make sure we're getting just the, the most out of all these classes because there's so much like what's the strategy um, you know I've started at the beginning and kind of been like I get this one now so I'm gonna move on and not do number three because they are kind of similar and I feel like I get it um, but are there any other just strategies for ways to approach the the vast amount of content that's available well you're retaking so you're not starting from scratch you don't need to go through every single thing in the foundational section of the course you've noted logical reasoning for example an area where you may want to do some more right so if that's the case you've noted certain question types like necessary assumption you chose to go deeper there for a reason you don't need to cover all of the logical reasoning workshops there are dozens of them you can instead pick the ones on the question types that give you trouble in particular and focus specifically on those. Okay. All right. That's my, that's my advice. My advice would be to target, yeah. target your target weak areas those. specifically. You can drill them in isolation. You can look to refine your review process if that's something you weren't really doing fully before and spend the time there. Yeah. Um, and then I guess for reading comp, because it um, has given me a little trouble, mostly because I can't get through them all. Um, and I know <laughs> it's not reading for, you know, comprehension and understanding you know, those reading comprehension, you're not reading it to really like understand everything. It's to pick out certain things. Um, are there, you know, any things, cause I've heard people talk about, oh, I read this because it's such technical writing. So I read like the economist every day and it gives me like just a lot of exercise and very technical writing and trying to do it quickly or whatever. Is there any other kind of tips? Um, in ways to maybe just get better at reading things that are, you know, it's not like reading a novel, um, obviously, that might make it a little bit just more practice, more, you know, exercise and preparation for the marathon of the LSAT. Sure. Well, the economists in Scientific American, of course, are mentioned often, they have their benefits, but you've also got nearly 400 released reading comp passages. <laughs> so if taking on a timed reading comp section seems like too much. Why not an untimed reading comp section or why not an individual passage and just do that specifically or as an exercise, as, as a drill, you could just do the passages and articulate only the main idea or do only the main idea questions as a starting point. Those are the easier ones. Those are like your logic games orientation question. It's almost like a warm up. Right. Okay. So you could say, do I got, do I have the main idea? Because if you don't have the main idea, then there's a lot you got to work on related to that passage. And that's fine. People get main idea questions wrong all the time. These reading comp in particular, it's really, it's like, the, it's the best of the worst. It never looks great. Right. But it's important to be able to do those. And that could be a good starting point. And then also, of course, in the course, check out the deep dive videos where we spend an entire hour going over one passage in depth. I believe it. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> there is. Oh, gosh. Um, okay, then. So that, I think, is a great way to start thinking about how I'm going to dive into reading comp a little bit more. Um, like I mentioned, with Logic Games, I feel pretty good. Um, the one area I've just had that's given me any trouble is kind of that last set of deduction. So, you know, reading through all the different rules and understanding it and getting kind of, okay, this means this, I've got a block here. That means this one can't go there and, and those sorts of things. But it's, then there's kind of that last level of deductions that really just kind of blows the whole thing open that I rarely um, get that right away. I'm, I'm doing a little bit more now. I think some of your tips have actually really helped um, kind of getting that, but are there any you know, tips or specific workshops that would maybe help to kind of take those deductions to the, that final level where everything just kind of goes together. That's a great question. Yeah. I mean, I love those deductions when they happen too. Not every game lends itself to them, unfortunately. So I can't say that you can always use that, but it is a powerful okay. technique. I would say that in general, the game types that lend themselves more to that sort of thinking might be grouping matching. So I would look there. And then I would also look at, if you're just interested in deductions in general, the grouping in out games, because those often lend themselves to creating long conditional chains. And that is a way of breaking the game wide open, because then you could see that through a long 
domino effect, a long conditional chain, you could see the entire chain of what seven happens with regard to the placement of seven different variables, them being in or out. So right. I would look at something like that and see, are you connecting things fully to the fullest yeah. extent possible? There are, of course, plenty of inferences one can make in ordering related games as well. But I find that typically students have more trouble with grouping than ordering on average. So I'm suggesting you look at grouping if okay. you want to see a lot of what inferences can do. Okay, great. Yeah, I've started to, to find that I think about logic games. Like when I go to bed, I'm still thinking about a certain thing, <laughs> how it made sense and why that was that. And I'm like, oh, I got it. Like, you know, an hour or two later, I'm still thinking about the game. That's great. The gears, the gears are continuing <laughs> to turn. Yeah. I've crossed That's over. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. I love that. I love that so much. Uh, okay. I mean, those are my big questions. I've just been spending a lot of time. Like I try every day to do like one workshop and a couple practice questions um, and then kind of go back and forth between different types. But like I said, mostly the main focus has been LR. Um, I don't, you know, I'm planning to take it and I'm already signed up for June. So I don't have a ton of time. Um, but I feel like it's doable for where I want to get and where I'm at. Um, do you have any, any words of wisdom, any final <laughs> um, suggestions on, on approaching that? My general recommendations are all on the course. I mean, there's nothing I can tell you now directly. That's a, a general tip in nature. I find that that suggests that there's there's one easy answer to this. I mean, you have there's the resource. No, <laughs> you have the resource. I mean, you've got the course. You've already taken the best step you possibly can here. You've got the course. Dive in. Attend the classes. That's what I would suggest. Attend the classes. Attend the, the classes. Take, classes. Yeah, take full advantage of them because then you're going to get another level to this beyond simply the videos. Yeah. And you get the chance oh. to ask your questions and connect with that community of students going through the process. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. That's a little harder with the the. <laughs> The children <laughs> of course no I, to I totally get that i have a little one but, myself just you know come to come to come, come to what you can okay yeah I'll, i want to get some of those i'm excited to try them and and see the additional resources because there's some really fantastic people teaching those classes you you know some of them but then there's other people too and i'm like wow they they just do a really great job so looking forward to that fantastic well i'm excited for you to be on board and i look forward to seeing your progress along the way so i'll, I'll see you in class all right, great. Looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.